Rachel here with Rachel's Unique Crafts. So, we're still having uh, really bad weather, so I'm just recording this the best way I can. So, we're going to be using today, we're going to make a fake bake, and um, we're using sponges from Walmart. Now, they're cheaper. You can buy these from Amazon. I can use, uh, put a link in the video and you're gonna get different colors. And I really wanna do the pink also, but I have it, um, once you do them in the water, you need to let them dry before you do your fake bake. So I did not do that, but this is what they turn out to be. And they're a little smaller than these that you get at Walmart, but they're a lot cheaper. Um, and you get a bigger variety of colors. Now, we can do, the name of this is just the scotch Bright multi-purpose sponges. And they're a little costly. Um, and you only get two per color. So, I like to do three on a cake. So, you're um, going to have one extra. Okay, so there's that. So, I did not pre-mix anything so that y'all can see how I do it. Um, we do have a lot of um, people that message me and um, comment that they do like the step-by-step -step instructions. So, if you don't like step-by-step, -step, just fast forward or put it on fast speed or you can watch it in any speed that you want to so i didn't measure anything i just cut one and then laid the second one on top and i just basically went from one corner to what i thought was the middle And do it just like that. Okay, so we're going to have our cake like that. I forgot. I've got these. But I really like these. They've got the kind of scalloped edge. I think that's much prettier. Um, so we'll use this one. I use the, I get this from I did see the pink tree, the pink, I think that's her name. No, I haven't watched anybody do anything here lately, so she's on YouTube. 
She does fake bake. She's from Canada. Very sweet. This ain't gonna stick. But this is a little trick she does. There is. You know, we're in the middle of December, uh, January. I'm still in December. We're in the middle of January and yellow jackets are flying around. <laughs> when your tape doesn't want to stick, do just like this. with some grease.
these sides doctored up here. Okay, good enough. I'll get this off of my hands so that start new, fresh on the pink. Y'all, well, some people can do these faster. I enjoy doing them. I need to get that stuff off my fingers. Get off of this plate here. Clean up my mess. I'm going to mix up a good bit because I'm going to use some of this on a different project. fake bags I got to get made so I'm just going to mix up a good bit of pink uh, maybe that'll be enough With my hands, I'm not able to make sure that it is seat tight. So, I put my feet on it. Y'all, I want to order some banana molds. I don't have time to make my own, so I'm just gonna order one. They would be pretty easy to make, but we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Not, not right now. I'm going to put a little bit of flour in here to make it a little thicker. Maybe that's enough. 
not. Let's get that out of y'all's view in it. All right, so. This, this is pink polish. Um. And if it's not a bright enough pink, I may add a little red to it. I'm adding the flower um, to make it thicker. Because I'm going to use this a little bit on the icing, but then I'm going to be making some milkshake type Bakes. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix it all up at the same time. And it's getting thicker. And we may even put more flour in it after we get the paint in it. Depends on how we, um, weak it makes the spackle. We'll see how that does. Still got white floating around in there. You didn't work out with your arm doing this. to need them right now. Um, that was some white. <laughs> Alright, this is my tips. those bag 
I get these on Amazon. I will put y'all a link in the description of the video. I got a bunch of them. They're not expensive. I want this one on here. I'm fumble fingers today. Probably not gonna put a whole lot in here because I'm not I'm gonna um use something different when I use it for the um Shakes that I'm gonna do. So, but I don't want to run out either. We can add more if we need it. There we go. I like I like the soft pink. I'm just taking it. I did get a little bit, but you know what I can do? I can actually just squeeze it back into here, just like that. Then I can use it on my other project. Now, if you're new to fake bacon, don't ever use your um, utensils and stuff that you've used for fake bacon. Please don't use them on your regular food anymore. And you don't use food sprinkles on your fake bakes either. I should have brought me a little jar of water in here to put this in. So I don't want that to dry out in there. Okay. Let's put some sprinkles on there. And if you happen to wait too long, if they don't stick, you can wait and put your Mod Podge on there and then sprinkle on there. I think I waited too late. But we're gonna mash them. I'm gonna put a few anyway, just so y'all can see. But I'm gonna give this a few days to dry and then I'll uh, seal it with Mod Podge. And at that point, I will put my sprinkles on. 
Isn't that pretty? And if we hadn't had a malfunction with the tape and the, all the things. Mash a few of them in there, but it's gonna waste more than it's, and these are not edible. Please note they're not edible. They are plastic. You can get them on Amazon. Not Amazon. They might have them on Amazon. Etsy. People make these. They're made out of plastic, so. They are not edible. So, that's enough because they're just rolling off. And so, this stuff has to dry and cure. And so, you need it to dry several days before, um, if you're selling them, please let them dry before uh, shipping them. Um, but I will give it several days to dry and then come back and put a um, Mod Podge to seal everything. And at that point, I'll add more sprinkles to it. But isn't this cute? And it's just sponges. And so I don't know if you can see or tell the sprinkles, but you can get all kinds of sprinkles. Some of these are Deco Exchange. Some of these are from Etsy. So, and some of these you can get like off of um, garlands, like for little Christmas trees. These are like little, um, what do they call those little candies? Anyway, um, Hobby Lobby. Just cut that off. You can get suckers and stuff. Guess you can't see through there, huh? You can get suckers from Hobby Lobby Christmas ornaments and use them. These are little ornaments from Walmart, little Christmas trees. And these are little ornaments with candy canes. So you can use all that stuff for your embellishments. Please do not use real food. And the only real food I use is the flour. You can also use baking soda. You can use powder, baby powder. Um, so yeah. Thank y'all for hanging out. The video kept turning off. So, um, I have a good bit of editing to do. So, thank y'all. Remember that I love you all. And I am so blessed and thankful that y'all are here. And I appreciate every time you watch, you share um, my videos or save my videos or share them or all the things. And, um... If you haven't subscribed, I appreciate you to subscribe and follow. Um, hit that bell notification so that you know every time I go live or every time I upload a new video, either one, if not both. So thank y'all. Remember, I love you all. And until next time, get to crafting and make something beautiful. Let me know if y'all make these and how they turn out. I can't wait to make some pink ones. So... Thank y'all. See y'all later. Bye-bye.